So I'm Nicole Yankelovich. I'm the principal investigator of the Collaborative Environments Project at Sun Labs. And we're working on various different types of tools for distributed work. So we are, this is our newest experiment in trying to use um, 3D game technology and applying it to work environments. Mm -hmm. So what's the name of the project? This is called MPK20, Sun's Virtual Workplace. And uh, the name MPK20 needs a little explanation. Um, right now we're on the Menlo Park campus known as MPK and we're in building 16 so this is MPK 16 and on this campus our buildings go up to 19 so we decided to build our next building in the virtual world <laughs> rather than the physical world so that, that's where the name comes from. actually a new home office in Seattle and um, so we're built on the Project Darkstar game server platform. The entire software stack is in Java, 100% Java. Yeah and what, you're, what you hear when you listen to it is um, all 100% Java including the high fidelity stereo audio and um, so we have the Project Darkstar game server on the bottom and then the Wonderland is our 3D graphics engine that we're using which is also in Java, it's all open source. Um, right now the Wonderland and this artwork, the world that you see is open sourced. The, our plan is to open source the server level components. Um, you mean Darkstar? Darkstar and, and also our voice bridge. The voice bridge takes care of all the audio and if you put on the headset you can hear um, that as you walk around the world, um, you, as you get closer to people, you hear them louder, you uh, back up, you hear them farther away, um, and as you turn around, you get the stereo effect, so you hear them in different ears, so you get the sense that they're in front of you or behind you. You know, to do things like product demonstrations, so we have here an example of a virtual product demonstration, and you can hear the... I'm um, giving the demo, you see the, the visuals. Um, so that's one thing to, you know, a marketing tool to do that. Also, we can have a uh, virtual, this is our virtual conference room. And this is a, uh, what we call a mixed reality conference room. So you can have people here who are remote and they're meeting in the virtual space. And when I click on uh, here, <coughs> then you can uh, move this video camera. So we're looking into another room, another space here. And this is live. The live video is within the red rectangle. So if you imagine uh, these chairs here, you imagine that there were people sitting there and the porta person that's in the other room that has the video camera would uh, you know be sitting around in this grouping of chairs and those of us in the virtual space could have a discussion with the people who are in a co-located space so conferencing is another um, application of this this is very much of a work in progress but this is our virtual team room and so the idea that we have here is that the team could share all the applications that they're working on um, and that these applications will be live. So we're very close to having that working. It's uh, not, not quite. <laughs> not quite so you enough. mean that teams can work on an application or what's... Absolutely. So I could go up to this um, this web browser and you know I can click and navigate around and anybody else that's in the space with me sees that happening. And they can take control and they can navigate. So, um, so the idea is that this is a place where you do your real work um, and so if, let me give you an example I got to do this with my right hand excuse me so the idea surrounding this team room are individual workspaces and um, you know if you add a new team member you just add a new wall to your to your team room to accommodate them but in here, so so we envision that you could be in this individual space you can do your programming you can write your reports your spreadsheets whatever you do your real work and without having to switch context you just say hey come take a look at what I'm working on and so you don't have to use a different tool to share right so that's what the Wonderland platform takes care of for us is the application sharing and it uses a technology a lot like 
like VNC um, to do the, the screen sharing. Okay, right. Um, but the, the applications are, are live, and some we have a co we expect a combination of applications designed for the system, which are built to be collaboration aware, so multiple people could use them. Like we're working on a whiteboard application that multiple people can draw on at the same time, whereas applications like um, Star Office or Firefox, which are not built for multi-user, you have to, um, you know, just pass control. So I use it, you use it, but but we can all see what's going on. And then in this scenario, the idea is that here's this sort of your personal work, and you can just drag an application and put it on your team room wall, and by doing that action, then the application becomes shared with everybody in your team. Somebody comes in that's not on your team, well, they can't interact with the application, maybe. Or they come into the room and maybe the application is replaced with a photograph. Um, so we really want to try to build in strong authentication, sort of enterprise quality, access control and authentication. This um, software started working at 10 o'clock last night, so uh, we don't quite have the community <laughs> yet. Are you just open source that you just... Yes, okay. exactly. This is a brand new project. And, um, so, But we, we really want to encourage people, particularly universities, and we think this is an excellent application for education, training. Um, have you seen other open source uh, projects that, that does, you know, virtual worlds? Well, Second Life has just announced they're open sourcing a lot of their components. So, and um, actually, the other project is uh, called Open Croquet, which is quite interesting. Um, and they have a very interesting model for, for that. Right. Th those are the two that I'm familiar with. Right. But yours is it's more business oriented versus right. the other ones. That's right. This, this is um, not that people couldn't use it for other things, but our our angle on it is that we won't really want to make a space for business collaboration. Okay. Okay. Can you